So I just pulled to a job site, but I figured I'd make a little 7.3 update here. Oh boy, this thing's a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, I should say I probably haven't had this many issues issues with the truck ever. I should say ever with the truck. Out of all the 6.0s and other 7.3s I've owned and 6.7s and whatever, um, this is giving me a shit ton of issues. But, I mean, for I'll give the truck some props here. It is a 20-year-old truck that gets beat every day pretty hard and... It's maintained decent, I should say. Um, I maintain it pretty well. I mean, I change oil and fuel filters and air filter, but you know, I've only put like 4,000 miles on it. So I guess previous maintenance is probably the culprit here um, through any vehicle, I guess. I don't know who owned it before, but they didn't really wash it very well in the winter. Here in Michigan, you rust holes everywhere. Um, but it's a junker work truck that I can just beat to hell and not really give crap. But that being said, has been some issues, and everyone knows these transmissions, 100 HD, R100 HD, I believe, I don't know if 100%, um, they uh, don't like towing in the city past like 8,000 pounds, and they tend to give out. Anyways, my setup is more than 8,000 pounds for the most part, with full water and saw on the trailer itself, and the truck, and yeah, it's more than 8,000 pounds. So, I cooked the trans, pump seal blew out, and... Uh, Blew the seals out inside of it and some of the clutches and whatnot so i got a rebuilt trans with a nicer torque converter in there and trans is holding the ball and then i had some issue where the truck would run beautiful and then i don't know where it just boom, feels like a it feels like a charge pipe blew off and it was just go, no power check engine it flash and, and that would happen so i couldn't figure that out and then i realized that let me pop the hood real quick but there was a harness that has been I mean, yeah this thing has totally been beaten dude i'm beating the shit out of this thing poor truck um, was well, real clean when I got it inside. The outside was dirty, but interior is pretty clean. But yeah, I've been I've been beating this thing. I mean, it's a complete work truck. No fucks given with it. That's just how it is. Um, you can see, you can see it real well. This harness right here will rub against the valve cover, and it was grounding out. So the truck was going, and it wouldn't run right. And I couldn't figure it out. So I was doing fuel filters and untuning it and tuning and this and that, and it was just it was not working out well. So figured it out. And it was the uh, the charge or uh, the uh, the wire harness was grounding out. I still haven't really fixed it. I just kind of moved it around to get it off the, the valve cover. Where I got to go in there and pull that that wire off and put some conduit all around it and tape it and make sure it doesn't ground out. But yeah, anyways, it's just an update on the truck. Um, but like four, four, five thousand miles. I think it's like forty five hundred miles. Um, pure work. Every every mile has pretty much been pulling this trailer or doing something. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Thanks, DTE. They didn't tell me uh, there was a manhole underneath the ground, and I was cutting. There goes the thousand dollar blade. They're paying for it though. Um, yeah, back to the back to the truck. So I guess what I can say is, you buy a twenty year old. I'm bitching like a little baby, but you buy a twenty year old truck, you're going to get some issues. It's just how it is. I mean, I could have found a cleaner truck for the. Pro well, I don't know actually. The price I got this thing for, the Dually, had 130,000, 130, 135,000 miles when I bought it. And you know it's pretty low mileage for 7.3 for what I paid. It was all stock when I got it. I just threw a five inch on it and oh, it had a Canon filter kind of thing, which is whatever. But I threw a five inch and a tow tune on there and uh, for more power because things have no power. I don't know. It's just a work truck and they're pretty good, man. Just you gotta be prepared to dump some money into them when you're when you're beating on them. If you're dri now, if I just drove this thing as a daily and didn't do anything to it, I guarantee I'd probably have no issues besides that ground issue, which is kind of just from being old and, and whatever um, but yeah i wouldn't have any transmission issues if I, if I didn't if i wasn't beating the hell out of it so um just an update on the truck yeah there's no no real plans to it all I'll, you know just a work truck man it's it is what it is it likes to get beat <laughs> it can take a beating pretty well too but you know just had to update the boys I, I forgot i didn't make really i have not been making videos because i have something in the works for the channel and i'm taking my time with it um and i'm focusing on what my bread and butter is which is actually making money with the saw so um yeah that doesn't look good looks like a tweaking axle uh oh nothing's going right see that that's not good oh my god that's not good at all holy crap actually that's new like just now new oh yeah that ain't good boys I think I tweaked an axle on this trailer now. Sorry, I'm building a brand new trailer this winter. Just to get me through this year. 
So you saw I put like 160 hours on it and uh, it's making money. But this trailer, I gotta go. This is my next next project. Is I gotta build myself a nice. I want to say I want to do an enclosed, but a nice enclosed saw trailer for this year. But yeah, this is the truck update. It's rusting out. It's pretty bad, but you know, bed is gone. Which I knew the rust was there when I bought it. Did not care because I'm beating on it. But yeah, I had to do uh, the uh, the transmission, and then two days after my trans, I got. You know, I was all excited. And what happens? Blew my power steering lines. They just blew up in the middle of the freeway. So I had no power steering or no, no, you know, uh, brake pressure for my, you know, I had to use manual, manual brakes. So that was nice. That was really scary. Pull on a trailer. So I had to fix that and they couldn't find lines. It was expensive. I don't know, man. Just an update. I haven't made a video in a while. But there is something in the works for the channel with construction related stuff. Should be pretty sweet. I don't want to talk about it too much. So I don't want to get ahead of myself. But. It should be pretty sweet, so stay tuned for what I have what I have in the works. I, sh I don't want to talk about it too much, but it should be pretty sweet. So, anyways, here's the truck. It's an update on it. You guys can see the junker. Been beat, been being beat, and it will continue to get beat to hell until it does not work anymore. So, that's what we do with these things. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm gonna have to get another Julie soon here. I've hired another person, so we'll get into it a little bit. I have to make a, an actual video. This is off my phone in the middle of a job site, kind of bored. So, make a video. All right, man. Peace out, guys, and subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell to see more updates of me beating the crap out of my stuff. <laughs> Not really. I'm just working at how they're made to be, right? So, peace out. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, say what up.